Um, okay, so my name is Barbara Wieland. I work for Ilri in Addis Abeba, where I lead the team in Heart Health. And in Ethiopia, a focus of our work is on the development of the value chain for small ruminants. And when we started that work, uh, we realized that there is relatively little known about the impact on infectious diseases on different household members. So we thought, okay, we need to better understand these disease constraints and how they affect uh, different people. And in the work for the value chain development, we have established very close relationships with the national National Agricultural Research System. So we in wanted to involve our national partners in that process. Um, on the other hand, we're very much aware that gender capacity often is limited um, in, in Ethiopia and as, as similar to other countries. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to actually get these people involved, uh, teach them um, in participatory methods and how they are being used and how we can integrate gender in such approaches. So we did organize a training workshop where 24 veterinarians from across Ethiopia were trained in the use of participatory epidemiological tools, um, but also got training in gender. And then together with the participants, we developed a study protocol that uh, was then rolled out in 23 villages in Ethiopia. And so basically what we did is we, we conducted focus group discussions with men, women, young men and young women, sort of in separate groups in each of the villages. And the trainees so the, from the National Agricultural Research Systems, they conducted these focus group discussions. And through that, they really learned to appreciate how much women also know about small ruminant diseases and how much they are involved in, in health management um, of small ruminants. And I think because they, they had this training in, in participatory tools and they were they knew that their role was to facilitate the discussions and not actually to um, impose their own ideas on participants. They were forced to listen and that's how they appreciated uh, how much women also know. And what we could see in a follow-up workshop when they fed back on their experiences is their attitudes had completely changed. And, and we had very strong statements coming from them such as saying we really have to include or integrate gender in all the research that, that we are doing and for me this was, was great to see, it was actually really um, exciting to, to be part of that process. Um, yeah.